Hey kids, are you ready for another episode of Dr. Cool's Super Science Show? Today, Dr. Cool is going to use super science to make super balls. We should do something with polymers. Sounds fun, but what do we do? We'll make bouncy balls. Brilliant, but we don't know how to make bouncy balls. Don't worry. I'll call Dr. Cool. Did somebody say Dr. Cool? He's Dr. Cool. He's Dr. Cool. He's got a doctor written awesome. He's no fool. He's Dr. Cool. He's Dr. Cool. His best friend is a mouse whose name is Abdul. He's Dr. Cool. He's Dr. Cool. Okay, now hold very still. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hmm. Alright, go. Hey, kids! Dr. Cool! That's right! Did somebody come about a bouncy ball experiment? Yeah, that was us. Alright then, let's get started! Okay kids, first things first, we need some materials. Borax. <gasps> Ziploc bags. <gasps> a stirring rod. That's a spoon. A marker. <gasps> and some petri dishes. Last thing, we need glue. But what kind? I don't know what kind you got. Well, I have gel. And I have Caucasian. Hmm. I say we do an experiment to see which one works better. Now, before we can get started, the most important thing. Safety. All right. Can we get some? No, they're just for me. Now, let's get started. All right, so step number one, label the petri dishes A and B. Letters A and B. All right. All right, step number two. Put one tablespoon of the gel glue in petri dish A and one tablespoon of the Caucasian glue in Petri Dish B. Let's get started. Here we go. So it's been a whole week since you cleaned your clothes. You've tried spraying them down with your garden hose. But no matter what you do, the smell just won't go away. Up until your mama come to you and say, Just relax. Use some borax. It's an important boron compound and a salt of borate acid. Next to sodiums for boron 7, oxygens, and pure dihydrogen monoxide to complete the chemical structure. You've got your boric acid and your dehydrates. You'd better use it quick, because in its natural form, it evaporates. It's a component of pottery, ceramics, and glass. But it's also slightly toxic. It will put you on your... All all right. Dr. Cool, I don't believe in Borax. I believe in God. Well, Borax doesn't believe in you.
We gotta wait 15 seconds before stirring. What are we gonna do for 15 seconds? More Borax song! Borax! Yeah, it's Borax! Alright, now that that's over with, let's start stirring! Oh yeah, stir it. Stir it up. Come on, keep stirring. Start like the wind. They solid gummy masses yet? Pretty much. Alright, let's move on to the next step. You're not my real dad. Alright, Alex, time for you to roll yours. I think she should do mine too. Alex thinks that Diana is hot when she is rolling glue into balls. Yeah! Alright, now that we've got our two bouncy balls, we're ready to decide which one works better. But, there's one more important thing to remember about this experiment. Never, ever, ever eat any of the materials. Isn't that right, kids? Wait, what? Oh, kids. You know what the punishment is for eating the materials, don't you? Hey kids, Dr. Cool here. I, uh, I'm not gonna have my show for a while so I can uh, run from the, uh, uh, take a vacation. Yeah, that's it. If you want to figure out which bouncy ball was actually better, go ahead and do the experiment at home with parental supervision, of course. <laughs> oh.